welcome to Bedtime Stories with OPL. I'm Miss Beth. Go grab your favorite stuffy, get comfy, and let's hear a story. This story is called The Wonderful Pot. Once upon a time, there lived a little boy and his mother. They were very, very poor because a rich man had taken all of their money. They lived in a tiny hut, and all they owned in the world was a cow. At last one day, they had not a bite left to eat. You must sell the cow, the mother said to the little boy. So the little boy took the cow's halter and started down the road to sell her. On the way, he met a stranger, and the stranger took from under his cloak a little black iron pot. Will you give me your cow if I give you this wonderful pot? asked the stranger. No way, said the little boy. But just then he heard a small voice. It was the little iron pot talking. Take me, said the pot. So the little boy gave the cow to the stranger. He took the pot home and he put it in the barn in the cow's stall. Ah, me, what a bad bargain you've made, son, said the mother when she saw no money and only a pot in the barn. But the pot began dancing about in the cow's stall. Clean me and put me over the fire, said the wonderful pot. So the mother washed the pot and set it over the fire. But she didn't have anything to put in it. I skip, I skip, said the pot, jumping down from the fire and running across the floor. How far do you skip, asked the mother. To the rich man's house, said the pot, skipping out the door and up the road as fast as its little legs would carry it. Now the rich man's wife was making a pudding. Ah, she cried when she saw the pot skip up to her door. You are just what I need to boil my pudding in. She filled the pot with good things. Flour, butter, sugar, and all kinds of fruits and spices. Now boil, she said, setting the pudding over the fire. So the pudding boiled and boiled and boiled. But when it was done, tap, tap went the pot and jumped from the fire and skipped out the door and down the road. Where are you going with my pudding, called the rich man's wife. Home again, called the pot, and the rich man's wife could not stop it. So the poor little boy and his mother had all the pudding they could eat. Next morning, the wonderful pot said again, I skip, I skip. How far do you skip, asked the mother. To the rich man's barn, said the pot, skipping down the road as fast as it could go. It stopped at the barn door. Inside the threshers were threshing grain. See the fine little pot, cried the threshers. How much wheat will it hold? Then the threshers poured a peck of wheat into the pot, but there was room for more. They poured in a bushel of wheat, but still there was room for more. They poured and poured and poured until the pot held all of the rich man's wheat. Tap, tap, went the pot, and out the door it skipped, down the road. Where are you going, cried the threshers. Home again, said the wonderful pot. So the poor little boy and his mother had all the wheat bread they could eat. The next morning, the wonderful pot said again, I skip, I skip. How far do you skip, asked the mother. To the rich man's counting house, said the pot, skipping down the road as fast as he could go. It was a beautiful day, and the rich man sat in his counting house, spreading his gold out in the sunlight to keep it from growing moldy. The wonderful pot skipped up to the window and jumped on the table. Just what I need to measure my gold, said the rich man, and he filled the pot full to the rim with gold dollars. Tap, tap with the pot, and out the window it jumped, and down the road it went. Where are you going, called the rich man. Home again, called back the pot, and the rich man could not catch it. So the poor little boy and his mother had all the gold back which the rich man had stolen from them. The fourth day, the wonderful pot said as before, I skip, I skip. Why do you skip, little pot, asked the mother, for they needed nothing, having pudding and bread and gold. To fetch the rich man, said the little pot, and off it skipped. As soon as the rich man spied it, skipping along the road, he cried, You wicked little pot, you took my pudding and my wheat and my gold. I'll break you to bits. 
So he laid hold of the little pot's handle, but there he stuck, and he could not let go no matter how hard he pulled. Suddenly he became smaller and smaller and smaller until he found himself inside the pot. I skip, I skip, said the wonderful pot for the last time. Tap, tap, he went, and the pot skipped off with the rich man inside, and nobody knew where they went. I hope you enjoyed our story tonight. We have lots of great stories just like it at the library, so come see where your imagination can take you. Sweet dreams!